Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Wanted to do a follow-up on a blog I did about a year ago on some changes to the uh, Strata Act in British Columbia. About a year ago, I had told you that uh, the Strata rules, uh, Strata uh, laws and legislation were changing and they took effect uh, January 1st of 2016. And it had to do with uh, dissolving of an entire strata or selling an entire strata. Up until last year, uh, if the owners wanted to get together and sell an entire strata complex, an entire 100 unit condo building to a developer, you needed a 100% unanimous vote to approve that at a special annual gen or a special general meeting. Now, legislation just changed a year ago, a little over a year ago now, that only requires an 80% vote to do that. And I had talked about uh, this a year ago, how this is another advantage uh, to possibly buying older uh, condos that are sitting on large parcels of land that are low density in areas like Vancouver or maybe Richmond, East Van, West Side Vancouver. Uh, for the possibility down the road of that strata being sold to a developer at a very high premium. So up until recently, there had been, I think, only two or three cases in all of British Columbia of 100% vote going through, the owners selling out to a uh, developer who usually would offer them 150 to 200% of their assessed value, so a nice premium, in order to buy out the entire strata, tear down the building, and build a much higher density instead of 10 floors, build 20 or 25 floors or several towers on the property. So it's something to be aware of down the road here. Um, now, now you do need an 80% vote, but here's what I wanted to talk about here. Um, it, it, even though, even if you do get an 80% vote to dissolve a strata and sell it to a developer, that still needs to get court approval. That strata will need to go to court and, uh, and get the final approval from a judge to sell it. And uh, the, out, the ones that are holding out that don't wanna sell can state their case as to why they don't want to. Now, it's still, from what I'm seeing so far, there are several that are, that are getting ready to go to court now, and some of them have between 80 and a 95% uh, vote in favor of dissolving the strata and selling it to a developer at a premium price. Uh, none have gone through yet. It sounds like some are gonna be getting approval later this year, uh, but it is still difficult because you could have 10% or 15% that don't wanna sell. Uh, the 85% have to convince a judge that it's in their best interest to sell this uh, building, uh, take the premium price, but of course the people that are holding out will say, I don't have any place to go, and even the money that I'm getting uh, from the developer, the premium price is still not enough to buy into that neighborhood. Now, I wanted to talk to you about a new twist on this, and it's called unit assemblies. And this has been going on now, uh, some are going on in, in Mount Pleasant, in some older buildings, as well as the West End, where uh, investors, and in some cases, uh, smaller developers, are starting to come in and buying up units in small apartment buildings. They are slowly assembling units with the ultimate goal to get to a 80 or 90% ownership and then go to the courts to get approval to uh, dissolve the strata and rezone and redevelop. So it's an interesting twist on this. And uh, there's been several articles in the Globe and Mail and the Vancouver Sun talking about this. Um, what I will say is from what I'm seeing right now, there are no major developers like a Boza or an Ani or a Bastion that are getting involved in this for the simple reason that the optics would not be good for them. Uh, they get into an older building in the West End and start buying out these units and let's say they get to an 80 or 85% ownership it's a 30 unit complex you've got seven or eight elderly uh, senior citizens that are living in the building and now the big bad developer is going to go to the court to try and get these holdouts to sell so you're not going to see i don't think any big developers getting involved in a in a unit assembly but there are some smaller developers that are and uh, what they're starting to do is hire realtors and there's several that are working this or specializing in this now that are uh, sending out letters to all the owners offering them a premium price to sell their unit and trying to buy as many as they can uh, and what they don't buy they just buy their time and slowly start accumulating them until they can get to an 80 percent or higher uh, ownership 
and then try and sell the unit. So it's interesting to see how all this plays out. Um, I think that you are going to start to see a lot more older Stratas in places like the West End, uh, uh, an 80 or a 90% vote passing to sell the entire Strata to a big developer who will pay you 200% of your assessed value and take the money and go elsewhere with it. And then you're also going to see these unit assemblies on some smaller boutique buildings that you're starting to see happen now as well. Where those will go, it's too early to tell, but it is another advantage to buying older buildings, low density, in more older established quiet neighborhoods. It's a possible exit plan later on. You buy the unit as an investment, rent it out, buy it, live in it, fix it up a little bit, but don't do too much work to it depending on how old it is. And the exit strategy 10 or 15 years down the road would be to sell it to a developer at a huge premium. And uh, as I say, these people are getting a, a quite a large premium to sell this unit, either as a unit assembly or liquefying or selling an entire strata out. So something to keep an eye on down the road. As always, I'm Owen Bigland. By the way, if you haven't bought my book yet, uh, Along for the Ride, I should do a plug for that. I want to thank everyone that has bought my book so far. Uh, it's been on the uh, top 10 for Amazon in the United States for the last three weeks. Uh, it's been in the top 20 in Canada as well for the last three weeks. Um, I'll post a link. Uh, to the bottom. It'll be the best $9 you've ever spent. Uh, so, And I, I want to thank everyone that's bought it so far and given me uh, some of the nice reviews that I've seen on Amazon so far with it. I'm Owen Bigland. Thanks for watching.